Okay, my name is Tanya Arif Bin Muhammad Nizam. Uh, nombor metrik 21033-2011. Uh, my name is Muhammad Hazdik Bin Harun. My metric number is 20133-2028. My name is Elvin Yen Tonggil. My car metric number is 201332008. X. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention. The forum discussion is about to begin. Honorable to Madam Rondara for sponsoring our program today. First of all, I would like to welcome all of you to this forum discussion. I'm Muhammad Hazid bin Harun as your moderator today. Without further ado, let me introduce the panel that are willing to be with us to share the thought and opinion about the topic that we want to discuss. First, I will introduce our first panel, which is Dr. Daniel Arif bin Muhammad Nizam. He is the Director General of Health Malaysia. For our second panel is Dr. Elvin Ng Tiong Kiong, and he is the National Security Council. The topic that we want to discuss today is uh, is a solution to reduce the spreading of COVID-19 in our country, which is in Malaysia. As we all know, we are now in the era of pandemic where the world is now plagued by the crisis in various aspects, which is uh, economy, health, and others. A lot of community are affected by this uh, pandemic. For your all information, now in Malaysia, we are in wave three of the pandemics. The case of COVID-19 each day keep increasing and keep the spreading of the to the communities in Malaysia. If the situation persists, it will be endangering the life of every citizen in Malaysia. So we will invite Dr. Daniel Arif to share his thought and opinion about the solution to reduce the spreading of COVID-19 in Malaysia. We all do respect, welcome. Okay, thank you our <coughs> moderator, Mr. Haziq, for inviting and letting me to share my talk. Okay. My name is Dr. Arif, Dr. Dr. Arif bin Muhammad Islam. I am a Director General of Health Malaysia. Today I am representative of Minister of uh, Health Malaysia to share our solution to reduce the spreading of COVID-19 in Malaysia. Okay, so the solution that we will help to decrease the spreading of COVID-19 in our country, we must uh, avoid 3C and practice 3W. For avoid 3C, the first thing is crowded places. We must avoid crowded places with uh, many people nearby. Uh, second is close contact settings. We must avoid to uh, we must avoid close con contact with each other, especially where people have a close range conversation. We must away uh, at least uh, one meter away if we want to continue conversation with each other. And the third is confined and enclosed places. Uh, we must avoid being uh, confined and enclosed places with uh, poor <coughs> ventilation, especially a place at, that has uh, many people out there. Okay, uh, then the practicing 3W, the first is wash your hands which is you must frequently wash your hand with soap and water. If you have been coughing or, sne or sneezing, make sure you wash your hand immediately afterward to keep your, keep your family and friends uh, safe from disease. The second is wear face mask. Individual with a system <coughs> where uh, wear a face mask as well as other do not have symptom should have uh, wear face mask too. Okay, the third is uh, warn each other. We must warn each other uh, about no handshaking, uh, practicing, practice cock ethic, uh, stay at home and get treatment if you have any symptom regarding uh, COVID-19 disease and this in fact uh, frequently uh, touch surface. Thank you, Dr. Daniel Arif, for the informative information that you share to us. Next, we will invite Dr. Elvin to share his thought and opinion about the solution to reduce the spreading of COVID-19 in Malaysia. With all due respect, welcome. Thank you, our moderator, Mr. Haji, for inviting me. Great to see you all today. I'm Elvin Yen Tongkyo. 
and I'm a Ministry of Defense Malaysia. My presence here is as a representative of the National Security Council Malaysia as NSC to set our solution to reduce the spreading of COVID-19 in our beloved country. So, solution that can help our country to reduce COVID-19 is to measure all of our residents follow the rules of movement control of the is MCO. When during NCO, all residents in MCO areas are not allowed to leave their homes, for which maybe only two people from the houses go to buy daily necessities. This way, I want people, people in one car of one shopping <coughs> area to prevent more people in cross contact at the same area. Thank you, Dr. Elvin, for the informative information that you shared to us. I have some question for Dr. Daniel Arif. Do you think the MCO really helped us in order to fight the virus? What do you think, Doctor? Yes, yes. I think it's helped a lot. Uh, as we can see, the the, the percentage the percentage of uh, patients that have, have been confirmed COVID-19 decreased when we start make decision to do a MCO by that, we can prevent more cases even though uh, when the first time all people not agree to make this MCO happen as they as they refer to uh, economy will affect the company. Whatever it is, we have to decide to make a MCO early until now MCO turn to RMCO. The number of positive patient COVID-19 uh, still decrease that also shows we make to this happen by using uh, MCO. This is uh, happy news for all of us. All right, Dr. Elvin, I have a question regarding MCO. For people, for people who are in a foreign country and now they want to go back to their home country, can I know what they need to allow the rules when they come back to Malaysia? Okay, nice question, Mr. Hadid. For which from the foreign country go back to hometown, they must do quarantine, which is 14 tests in the hostel, and two two times what tests, second test and 10 tests, and all payment will be paid by government. But if you want to go back to your worker area or back to university from your hometown, which is not MCO area, only NCO area, you must get an explication from, from the police station and pay yourself during the quarantine 14 days in the hostel that is nearby at your home. All right, thank you, Dr. Elvin. Back to Dr. Daniel Arif. What is the doctor's advice if we follow up the numbers since the beginning of this year, we have a COVID-19 pandemic, what we can expect? Okay. For me, uh, we must struggle uh, to continue the struggle that we can do it and we should together in this fight. I, as a friend in the hospital, I'm begging to all nation practicing stay at home. Make you busy at home and take care of social distance because the current situation is very critical. At the rate of the rise is very accelerated and the number of rising increase rapidly and what worry me and uh, my friends at COVID hospital across the country is the patient in the in incentive intensive care units ICU have gone up patient wearing respiratory aids uh, have increased they are most critical significant so I hope uh, all nation understands that they are fighting for their life in the ICU as you as a Malaysian can help us. Uh, if you not very well, you go to hospital, you be a COVID patient and you will burden our friends in the COVID hospital. Uh, thank you, Dr. Daniel. Uh, I have a question again for Dr. Elvin. Regarding going back to the university, I heard that you say just time about those who want to go, go back to their university must get an application from the police station. Does it mean if students who want to go back to their university are allowed? Ah, yes, 
Usually, MKN was prepared a debt to give students back to university, but they need to get an application form from to go into states. When during NCO, all the primary school, middle school, college, and university should not do face-to-face -face classes or final exams. Except for SPN students or STPN students, they need to allow SOP and do the exam SPN in February. For a question about how they can continue their study, the school can use uh, as like a online platform such as Google Meet, Zoom, WeBet, and others. They can do the online classes, and students can continue their studies. But if students who do not have a device to do online classes and also are a B40 <coughs> of family, you can apply for assistance from the University of Governors. Okay. okay. Thank you, Dr. Elvin. As we all know, this pandemic gives a big impact to all of us. So I have a question for Dr. Daniel uh, as a Director General of Health as you're holding this position. Would you mind sharing the next step again, the virus? Yes, yes. Uh, the MOH played a crucial role in ensuring maximum readiness to contain the spread of virus. Among the early efforts taken by the MOH, the prevent disease transmission was that enforcement of health screening at all point entry. This was done to further enhance the detection of fever among tourists and local returning from abroad. Uh, a nation who returned from Wuhan were screened, identified, and isolated in a special quarantine area for COVID-19. This measure also involved uh, airline crew as well as uh, staff of uh, the MOH. Uh, the subsequent key step taken by the MOH with the government to overcome the spread of uh, COVID-19 was increase the number of hospital uh, that could treat uh, COVID-19 cases. The, the, there was also a uh, group effort of uh, between public and private uh, hospital to accommodate the growing number of cases infection in pricing uh, university hospitals and uh, Ministry of Defense Hospitals. Thank you, Dr. Daniel. Okay, this is my last question regarding MCO again. Uh, are the food stall open during MCO? Will you share this to us, Dr. Elvin? Okay. All the food stall still can open and are all over to operate around 6 a.m. until 8 p.m. And only and only take away from and only take away and cannot eat at the store. None of the press uh, which are during RNCO, CNCO, especially can eat at food store, but they still want to complete or social distance, and the store must be prepared one table to be over use. And if NSC or police find a resident who does not have to allow the ruler of get any complaint from people, our NSC will issue a ticket to the store and the customer. Please be attend. All right, thank you, Dr. Elvin. Based on the information that was given by Dr. Daniel and Dr. Elvin just now, we can conclude that the government has given a lot of initiative to reduce the spreading of COVID-19 in Malaysia. So, we as Malaysia citizens must be aware of each other to keep the spreading of COVID-19 decreasing. Ladies and gentlemen, finally, we come to the end part of our forum discussion. We would like to say thanks again to our panels for the informative and interesting talk and not forget to the audience that, that participated in our program today. Hopefully, this forum discussion will be beneficial for everybody. Thanks for your attention. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>